All right, so welcome to the channel. Uh, we are approaching the end of 2022. Got a few days left to uh, finalize the poker results, but uh, today I wanted to illustrate uh, or compare <laughs> myself against one of the top guns in the game of poker, and that would be Daniel Negreanu, otherwise known as Kid Poker. So Daniel Negreanu is a Poker Hall of Famer. He's winner of six World Series of Poker bracelets and also the winner of two World Poker Tour titles. So I just want to kind of compare how he did in the 2022 World Series of Poker series uh, versus how I did. And who am I? Well, my name is Francisco Ramirez, uh, otherwise known as Poker Burrow. A winner of no major tournaments, but winner of multiple local charity tournaments. I've only played only uh, one single World Series of Poker bracelet event. And I've never played in the World Poker Tour, although I would love to. And by profession, I'm a professional insurance agent and aspiring to become part-time poker pro. Now, 2022 World Series Poker, Daniel Negreanu versus Poker Burrow. Let's see the head-to-head -head comparison. Now, who played more than 25 events? I'd be that guy. Who played just two events? Well, that'd be me. Who cashed in 12 events? That'd be him. Who lost money? Now, uh, here's a tricky question. Who lost money? Yep, bingo, that guy. Who made a profit? Voila. Who cashed for over $250,000? Yeah, I wish it was me, but nope, it was him. And who cashed for 55, 64? All right, so some of you may be a little bit confused looking at this. You're like, cash for $253,000, but he didn't make a profit? Huh? Well, this is the screen of the overall results for 2022. Daniel Kid Poker lost. $1,104,028 and this is according to his own video log which is one of my favorites uh, maybe I'll run a clip here so get you familiar with with his channel would definitely encourage you to subscribe uh, if you're a fan of poker he's, he's a good guy to follow uh, and then of course I profited a total of $5,003 for the World Series of Poker um, but I do have to say, I did not play any bracelet events. I played the daily side events at the uh, World Series. Uh, the $250 I played in a, one of the horse events and then one of the Texas Hold'em No Limit events. Cashed them both, including one sixth place finish, um, which was the bulk of the, the profits. Um, had a good time and I'm looking to go back in 2023, hopefully improve on the results and hopefully play in one or two bracelet events at minimum but in any case just kind of want to put this out there that uh, poker is a tough game you can definitely go through periods of losing um, even the best players out there are going to get knocked about um, so kind of put things in perspective uh, since the last three months or so have been a little bit rough for yours truly here but we're going to come back and try to finish the year strong and go from there so Thanks for visiting the channel. If you like, subscribe. Uh, you know, do what you gotta do. Hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks. Take care. Bye.